This is question number five on the multiple choice, and it says evaluate the log of one eighth uh, of the number one fourth. So we have, have to find what that equals, okay? So I'm going to remind you of a little uh, simpler example that you've seen where you have log of, say, one fourth again, right? Equals, what does that equal? So what do you normally do there? Well, let's just say, name this x. That way, we're just looking for x. We're solving for x, okay? We make this an equation and we just solve for x. So, to solve for x, what's the next step here? Since log, by definition, is log of 10, well, then we say, let's raise both sides to the 10th power. So we have 10 to the log of 1 fourth equals 10 to the x. Basically, we put these guys as the power, and we raise it to the 10th power. So that way, we can eliminate the log part with the 10 part, and we get only 1 fourth here, and then 10 to the x. Okay? And then we go on. But I'm going to do it with this one. So I just wanted to point out what we've done in the past. Also, if you had ln of 1 fourth equals x, what you would have done is raise both sides to the e. Some, some of you guys do this without writing out the step, so it might look weird. You just say, oh, I'm going to raise the side to the e, and the ln is going to go away. But that's basically what you're doing, and that's why you need to know why you're doing it, because of cases like that. Okay? So now that I've said this, and I've related it to things that you might have seen um, and that are a little simpler, let's go back and solve for that one. So this one... They're not using log as a definition log of 10. They're defining it as log of 1 eighth. So again, let's say this is x, and we're going to solve for x. So this, in this sense, we have to raise both sides to the 1 eighth power instead of 10. So 1 eighth power raised to the log of 1 eighth of 1 fourth, and then 1 eighth power raised to the x, okay? So it looks a little funky, but let's try to cancel out as many things as we can here. So that way, we've narrowed it down to 1 fourth equals 1 eighth to the x power. So at first, we use the definition of log. You have to know how that works, right, to cancel out the log part. So now we're only left with this. So now, basically, we're left to solving things that are raised to a power. Okay. I don't like seeing things that are in the denominator, so I'm going to go ahead and flip them to the top by raising it to a power of negative 1. And this one becomes 8 to the negative 1 times x, so it's just negative x. Now, how, do, how am I going to solve for x? Okay, I need to find some sort of, sort of pattern here. Okay, and basically what that means is I need to try to find some sort of base that both of these guys share in common. So the base here seems like it would be 2 because 4 is 2 squared, right? So 4 to the negative 1 is just 2, sorry, 2 squared times the negative 1, so 2 to the negative 2. In this case, we also know that 8 is 2 to the 3rd, so 2 to the negative third because we're multiplying by negative and by an x. So that's basically what it becomes. Um, I could have I could have done another step here of saying this is two to the third times negative x here and then gone here. So if you like to see it better like that, that's basically what I'm doing. Same thing on this side. Okay. So now that I have both bases the same, I can actually just solve for negative 2, so we're tra transitioning here, this is no longer, ha this no longer has the basis, it's just got the powers that we're comparing, okay? Because if the bases are the same, for these guys to be raised to, uh, they have to be raised to the same power, so, so that they can be the same number. There's no way that the powers can differ if the bases are the same. So, what will the power have to be? So, x has to multiply 3, negative 3, somehow, to make it equal negative 2. And that's what we're doing here. So let's divide by negative 3. This is simple algebra now. 
So we cancel that and we get x equals negative 2 divided by negative 3 becomes positive 2 thirds. And that's actually our answer, which is b.